What's up guys, my name is Sam and I'm the creator of TrumpetWarmUp.com. It's a subscription website where you can practice along with professional trumpet players. I'm excited to welcome you to week six of teaching trumpet to a complete beginner. In this video series, you see Dan's progress from day one of picking up a trumpet to now week six. We cover the fundamentals of practicing the trumpet from long tones to breathing exercises, mouthpiece buzzing and more. Please subscribe to follow along with Dan's progress as he gets better and better. And to those of you who have been following along since day one, I'm sorry I've been behind on posting, uh, but I'm getting back on track and I'll be uploading soon every single Monday. All right, so now we'll get into the lesson. I start by asking Dan uh, to share one good thing about his practicing from last week and one bad thing. Hope you enjoy. All right, so one good thing, one bad thing. Um, okay, bad thing, I, I think I struggled with some of the higher notes on the long note section. Okay. Like I, I would dip in and out of like hitting the right note mm -hmm. and like dip into like the same like open but like yeah. lower. And then good thing, um, I feel like my lung capacity is improving and I'm not like winding myself trying to hold longer notes. Hmm. Uh are you talking specifically on the long tones? Or? Long tones, yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, that's probably not... Uh, if I were to guess, I would say it's not really lung capacity. It's probably maybe you're getting a little more efficient with how you're playing. Um, sure. Which, either way, is a good thing. Um, okay, and then give me a rundown of what you practiced, how many times you practiced. Uh, every every weekday, so Sweet. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then yesterday, and uh, Thursday I did the like no sound, just blowing. Perfect. Doing doing like a whole silent exercise. What did that? What um, was that experience like? Was it just really weird? It, it, I think it was good to like hear the consistency of my breath. Mm, okay. Um, and I accidentally made a few notes at, at some points on the long tones. That'll happen. But, yeah, it's cool. Um, were you focusing on relaxation during that? Okay, perfect. And then, do you also focus on relaxation throughout the other sessions? Yeah. I think I still, like, have, am somehow, like, having more trouble with free buzzing. Like, I'm trying to stay relaxed and not yeah. tense up, but... yeah. It's not super consistent, I'd say. But okay. then as soon as I have the mouthpiece, it like, no problem. So, okay. I don't know. Um, well, we can start with, um, we're going to get to the video, but I want to start by talking about the free buzzing, because I noticed um, something when I was watching last week's video. Um, this is related to pulling the lip down, but I'm going to introduce a new term or concept to you and so that is the aperture mm -hmm. so the aperture is um the opening um between your lips that is when your lips are vibrating that determines um the sound or produces the sound i suppose i'm probably probably like a legit trumpet uh diagnostics person would be like mad at me for how I'm explaining this, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, this is my simplistic version of it. Um, so I noticed when you're doing the free buzzing, and um, I want to fix this because it's going to translate to everything else too, I think. Um, so when you're doing the free buzzing, you almost don't have an aperture. Like it's there's a noise being created, so you know that at times there is an opening, mm -hmm. but we want to be able to control the aperture by having a consistent opening and the air is just going through and then the buzz stays consistent. That's how we'll get a consistent buzz. So, um, so like I noticed your lower lip, which we already talked about, is under your upper lip. getting that kind of thing yeah. going on. Um, so I want you to start there. And 
and then look in the mirror while you do this. So start like that and then keep pulling it down um, until, you might have to get kind of closer to the mirror, but until you can almost see that very slight like gap in, in between your lips while you're buzzing. <laughs> Yeah, you know, get closer to the mirror. <laughs> it's gonna be funny, I know, but. Do it even more than that. You're on the right track. But... That's it. So that's it. So, um, what does that feel like? Or how can I, how can we get you to remember that feeling or that position? Hmm. I don't know. I guess I guess like the visual cue of looking for yeah. that whole. It's hard to put into words. Like, okay. Try it. Maybe one or two more times. Still starting like this, or just going straight to it. Uh, try to go straight to it if you can. <laughs> So that's a lot better. I think um, that's where your buzz should be. I think. Okay. So let's let's just keep that in mind when you, when you do the the exercises today. Can do. All right. Um, so are you ready to get into it? Stop staying relaxed in there. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Nice. You're a pro at it. <laughs> This new uh, tactic goes for mm -hmm. you. Let's see. So you're gonna be, gonna be thinking about your lip. The only other thing I want you to think about is just blowing enough air out. Try to blow more and more air forward. <laughs>
us. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Party call. Let me see you do two counts of breathing in and eight counts of breathing out. So I'll, I'll count you in. Um, let's see. So it'll be like one, two, three, four. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and out. Okay. Just, just like next time around. Go. One, two, three, four. Just uh, just exhaling. Oh, yeah. exhaling. Yeah, and then we'll do uh the buzzing. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Now let's do it with the uh, free buzzing. So uh, same thing, but buzz this time. One, two, three, four. Uh, so right on the zombie. Yeah. yeah. One. Cool. Um, that was actually a little bit better. So I noticed um, while you're doing the exercise, um, every time when you're free buzzing, your whole body is like. <laughs> um, and I noticed that previous times, but that was part of what I why I wanted you to do just the inhale exhale. Yeah. Um, so really, we want to try to get the the. I would almost rather you have nothing come out, like no sound happen with the free buzz, than try to force it. And then like tense my whole body, to yeah. get more air out. So maybe that should be our strategy going forward is like, if there's no buzz, but you're relaxed, that is preferable to producing that that buzz but being super super tense um we'll leave it at that for now i think sweet cool um and then Ooh, write down aperture, A-P-E-R-T-U-R-E. -E. Um, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try to send you, this week, I'll try to put maybe some images of trumpet aperture, like some, some info on that, but I think just knowing about it is going to help you a lot. Uh, cool. All right, ready for mouthpiece closing? Yeah, let's do it.
Yeah. <laughs> Dumb, you did but... have a different pitch every time, but that's... <laughs> I mean, I'm not actually that worried about that. Yeah. The more important thing is the sound, so you had a good sound um, pretty much on all those. Um, there were a couple that were just, like, slightly airy, but, um, mm -hmm. I mean, it's improved so much since we first started, so that's the goal. Um, yeah. Yeah, just trying to make the exercises more and more perfect every time. So can do. All right. Into the lead pipe buzz. <laughs> I'm sure you could, when I point it out and I say, that's a good sound right there. Yeah. I'm sure, um, maybe like when you're practicing by yourself, it's a little harder to tell, like, yeah. am I doing this right or not? But, um, it might be, I mean, I know you don't necessarily want to go back and watch the videos, but <laughs> it could be helpful at points to yeah. just skim through, um, it, and just see like, okay, I, where I can bear it. I think. Nice. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me go to the other one the tones for you.
winding me. <laughs> um, well, yeah, that's, I mean, you made some great progress, I think. Um, no, uh, nothing else to do, I, I don't think, then keep just keep, keep going with what you're doing. And um, obviously, like we talked about a bunch, consistency is the most important, and you're doing that. So um, I think as long as you keep doing this, and then we're just going to slowly, slowly progress the routine um, difficulty-wise, like keep adding different notes and stuff, and um, then I think in a few months you're going to be you're not even going to reckon, you're going to be like, what? <laughs> How did this happen? I'm into it. Yeah. Um, cool. So any questions for me? Um, Alright, what, what were the takeaways, or what are the things that we said to work on? Aperture, like look into it and getting that, work on that opening for free buzzing. Mm -hmm. um, and for free buzzing, just staying relaxed through it and like, even if no sound comes out, yeah. it's okay rather than yeah, forcing some air out. Yeah, cool. And then, um, so film one of your sessions yeah. this week and uh, maybe look back at old sessions. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Um, Perfect. Yeah, just keep trying to make the exercises more and more perfect, as good as you can. And then you're on the right track. Cool beans. Good job, Dan. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I'm very, very pleased with Dan's progress so far. I think he's doing an excellent job. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll be responding to every single comment, so don't be shy and go ahead and ask those questions. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.